Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to control your WordPress widgets and also some Elementor page builder widgets so that you can get more control over where it's shown on what devices it's shown on and anything of that nature. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and definitely like the video uh, down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. So let's get started. This plugin is called Widget Options and you're able to do quite a bit with this plugin. You can go ahead and if you visit their site at widget-options.com, it'll show you a little bit about what they can do. So page visibility, so you can hide certain widgets on different pages, on certain devices, have it on a custom alignment, um, show and hide based on whatever user roles there are. There is a lot of options with this, especially with the days and dates visibility. This is something that I have been looking for personally for a few sites, and this is this is definitely going to be um, a game changer for me at least. If you go ahead and you keep scrolling down, you'll see a bunch of different options. And the great thing is they have a free version and a paid version. Their paid version, all right, starts at twenty nine dollars for a single site license and you get a year of updates and then it goes up gradually and gradually. They do have a lifetime option. If you go ahead and contact them, their customer support is very quick with responding. Um, if you would like a lifetime license, you can go ahead and contact them and they'll go ahead and give you the pricing for that as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So as you can see here, we are inside of our dashboard. Let's go ahead and navigate back. Once you go ahead and navigate to plugins and click add new, you can go to and search plugins for widget options. Once that loads up, you can go ahead and click and install and activate that. I already have that done on my site right now. And this is the free version. It's by PHP Bits Creative Studio. So make sure you grab the correct one. Now, once you go ahead and get that, you have a new settings menu underneath of settings and go to widget options. From here, you have a bunch of different settings. The ones that are shown right here are all ones that are included in the free option. And then if you scroll down, you can see which ones are actually included in the pro option. So a great way to start is just to get the free option, see if it does what you need. And if it doesn't, then I would definitely suggest upgrading to the pro option. Uh, the free option has the Beaver Builder support, the Elementor Page Builder support, Site Origin, as well as Advanced Custom Field support, which is very awesome to be able to do that with the free version. Um, there's a lot of different uh, device restrictions, page visibilities, things of that nature. And if you're not using any of these, they're already dis they're already enabled by default. But if you're not using any of these, then you can go ahead and just disable those. So you can go ahead and disable those if needed, and then you can enable the ones that you need down here. If you're looking to use this in the Elementor page builder, go ahead and enable that. But if you're also using it for Beaver Builder or Site Origin, you can enable those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Underneath the appearance, we have the widgets option, which is always here by default. And you may be familiar with this. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. Underneath of the main sidebar, we have our default sidebar that we have here with all of our sites. And if we go ahead and click on one of these, we have new item tabs right here. And this is a way for us to show and hide the widget on specific pages, devices, or by user. So for example, if you have something where you can um, if you have a membership site and you have a sidebar with content, you can go ahead and show or hide this on certain pages. And you can also um, do it on devices. So you can show or hide on different devices, show on check devices or hide on the check devices. So you can hide it on desktop or tablet and just show it on mobile or just show it on mobile, for example. You have the alignment options. So for the pro version, you'll have to upgrade to that if you want to do the multiple de devices for the alignment and the additional widget options. But for example, you're able to go ahead and center this left, right, justify, whichever you want on all the devices. 
And of course we have our user login state. So if this is only shown for people who are logged in, you can go ahead and click this option here. If you only want to show it for people who are logged out, for example, you want to show them, hey, become a member and you can go ahead and, and get this perk and this perk and you show this for only logged out users. That way people who are already logged in and already have a membership don't get nagged by you trying to upsell them or just sell them on something that they already have. So this is really useful for that. For the logged in users, you can show this uh, based on content. So if they have a membership, you can only show them things uh, if they have a membership. So that way you can hide um, anything that you wanna show them uh, until they pay for it. So we have those options. And then there's a couple different things. So you can hide the widget title. You can add a class and ID to this. Um, so you can go ahead and style this separately. And of course you have logic. So if you want to work with your conditional tags um, or any uh, PHP code that you want to add to this, you can go ahead and do that as well. So there's a lot of different options. So for example, we have the main sidebar. We can go ahead and show or hide this on any of the miscellaneous pages. Uh, we can also choose post types. So the pages right here. You can see that we have all of our pages listed right here. And then we can actually show or hide this here based on which one we check here. And then we have our taxonomies. So if you have a sidebar that's set for all of your taxonomies, you can just show certain things based on different categories and things of that nature. Underneath of the tabs, you have the WordPress pages and the ACF. So we were working under WordPress pages. This is the ACF. So this is when you can actually show or hide different widgets based on if a condition is met for your custom field. And for custom post types, you have something called custom fields. And those are basically assigned to a post type that you select. And I'll show you the, an example in just a bit. So you can show this when the conditions are met. So if you choose a field, so for example, like I have this on a, on a live site, on a, on a development site right now, that I'm building for a client and it's a funeral home. So if any of their um, birth date is empty, so if it's if it's empty or not empty, and then you can actually set it so if it's equal to or, or does not equal to, or contains or doesn't contain, you can do those as well. Um, these, if you choose these four right here, then you can put your conditional value down here. So for example, if a birth date contains a specific date that you want to have in here, then you can go ahead and show this widget on that page. Uh, if you're going to choose is empty or not empty, then of course you can leave this conditional value empty uh, because it will check to see if there's any text in the field or if there's any value in the field. And if there is or isn't, it will go ahead and do whatever you need it to do based on those uh, values. So there's a lot here. Um, now, what I'm mainly going to be using this plugin for is to show or hide specific value, uh, specific fields on the front end of a website on a single uh, post template. So let me show you what I'm working on. Let's navigate to under the template. And we have a few things here. So let's go to the single service main. And once this loads up, we have a few different things here to, to check out. Um, so we have a bunch of different custom fields. Everything here is pulled in dynamically. The image, the, uh, the content right here, all of these badges, and then all of this down here is being pulled in dynamically. So let's say we want to hide something if, if there's an empty field. So for example, we want to hide this date if this text is empty. Okay, so we'll hide this date if this text is empty. So we click on this date right here, go underneath the advanced, and we have the options over here, underneath of the gear, to have the advanced custom fields. So we wanna hide the the date right here, or I'm sorry, we wanna hide this, this uh, date right here when this time is empty. So we want to hide the condition when the conditions are met, select the field. So the field there is going to be called the interment time. Here it is. Okay. So this is the interment time. 
And if this is empty, then it's going to hide this date right here. So let's go ahead and show you a real life example. All right, so this is our normal post type right here. So let's go ahead and remove the time and then we'll watch this disappear. Let's go ahead and edit the service. Let's remove the interment time. Let's refresh this page. All right, as you can see, this date is completely gone underneath of the interment because we removed the time here. Let me go ahead and add back this time and update this. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. And we can see that we have the, the date back and the time back because there is a value inside of this time field. Let me show you guys another option that you guys may relate to more. Okay, so we have designed a custom portfolio. And right here we have the featured image being pulled into this background right here. This is uh, the project title right here, so the post title. And then we have all of this information down here being pulled in dynamically as well. Project information, the skills, the description, things of that nature. We have a, a gallery from Advanced Custom Fields. We have a YouTube video, and we have the featured image being shown here again. So the way you can use this is if we have a featured image and a video, but we don't want there to be duplicate featured images on the page because we already have this one up here, but we don't want this one down here. But for example, we may want this down here if we don't have a video. And let me show you the options. So for this one, this is a portfolio item. We do not have a video for this one. So we don't want this side to be empty over here. So we want to include the featured image since there is no video. But for this one, we have a video and we don't want to include the featured image down here because we already have a space that's being taken up by this video. So we want to hide the featured image in this section when there is a video in the section as well. So for example, this is the template that we have set up here. And if we go to the image that we have set up over here and we go underneath of advanced, we can go ahead and click on this gear icon and we can hide when the conditions are met because we want this to hide whenever there's a video link inside of the custom field. So the custom field is called video link. So we have that chosen here. And then whenever there is, whenever the video link field is not empty, meaning that it, it, it does contain text and a link, we want to go ahead and hide this featured image. Okay. So whenever there's a link inside of this field for the video, we want to hide this featured image. Otherwise, we want to show the featured image. So let me show you here. Underneath of the portfolio, we have our title. And then we have our portfolio fields down here. So there is a link inside of this video link, but we also have a featured image down here at the bottom right. So we want to go ahead and hide the featured image whenever we have a video link inside of the field which is why we want to go ahead and hide when conditions met and that the video link is not empty. We can also do show when it is, when it is uh, empty. So we could do that. Um, but we have the hide when it is not empty. So either way, it's whichever you choose for, you choose for that. So this is a great way for you to hide specific fields uh, using advanced custom fields and widget options plugin so that you can design better pages based on if someone's logged in or logged out. Um, if it's on a certain page, if it's on a certain taxonomy, certain post type, or even if just another field has content inside of it, you can go ahead and hide different elements based on that. Like I said before, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. 
This plugin is very awesome and it's a very powerful plugin. I definitely suggest you go ahead and install the, the free version. Uh, see if it does what you want. So go ahead and just see if it can meet your requirements. Start playing around with it a little bit. You try it on a, on a development site and, and see what you've got there. If, especially if you've got a big listing directory site or a membership site, this widget, this plugin is going to be very helpful. Or if you just want to show or hide certain things based on certain pages. It's got a lot of those options. You have all of the same options we went over before. So we can actually show or hide certain elements based on what pages they are over here or if they're on certain post types, categories, taxonomies, all of those options. And of course, if a user is logged in or logged out, we can hide it. Or if it's a specific role, we can go ahead and show or hide based on the roles. And then we have days and dates restrictions. We could turn this on, we can ha hide it on select selected days. So if we want it to be only shown on Monday and Wednesday, we could do that. And then of course we could do date restrictions. So we want to hide or show on a selected date so we can hide it. Specific times and dates. It's got a nice nice drop down right here and we can choose our times. And then we can choose an ending date right here and an ending time. So we have those options. So this is a very powerful plugin and a lot of the powerfulness is included in the free option. So like I said before, definitely download the free option. Uh, install that and then if it doesn't meet your requirements upgrade to the to the pro version and then you have a lot a lot more options that you can choose from i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said before if you have any comments below uh, i'll be sure i'll be happy to answer them you can always contact me on facebook um, in the elementary community group and um, i hope you guys have a great rest of your day thanks